Hello, my peeps. Hola, mi gente. It's cooking with Carmen time. And today I am going to make um, a sopa of sopa de plátano con bolitas de plátano dentro. And these are the ingredients. And it's a plantain soup. <clears throat> what I do is grate the plantain, make little balls of um, like meatballs, and throw it in the, in the pot with grated plantains as well. But I'm gonna use the sofrito. I'm gonna put some pumpkin or calabaza. I'm gonna put some um, seasoned um, pork cracklings. I'm gonna put some ham. I'm gonna put some of this and potatoes too. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, mi gente. So here, what I'm doing is grating the uh, plantain and this is the way it comes out. This is the consistency you want. So I'm going to grate three of them, okay? This is the way we do it. This is the way I, I saw my grandma and my mother make this. So I'm um, making sopa, uh, sopa de bolitas de plátano, okay? All right then guys, I will be back. Okay guys, so it's all shredded. I have all my ingredients chopped up. This is uh, potatoes. Then we got ham. Then we have the uh, pumpkin or squash, whatever you wanna call it. And we have the, um, the seasoned pork rinds. And then I have some um, red and orange peppers. And then what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to make little balls. I'm going to make a couple of balls. And this is, you know what, I, I normally season it, but since a lot of this stuff has, you know, a lot of salt in it, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to season the, the, um, plantain, you know, the shredded, the shredding. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to, and then what we want guys is, this is what we want, see? And but what we want also, I'm gonna have to move you, is we want the um, the pan to be boiling this way. So in there, I'm gonna throw the balls. And the reason, reason being you want it to um, be boiling is so it doesn't come apart, okay? So when it's boiling, it, it starts cooking really quick. So that's what you want, you know? And you just form them into a little ball and uh, just throw them in there. Okay, let me make one more. It's sticky, so you wanna, you know, work as fast as you can. So yeah, so that's, so normally what I wait is for that to be done first for those to be hard already, and then I continue throwing all the ingredients in. I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's boiling, and this is the way they look, see? And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start throwing the things that take the most time to cook, which is the potatoes and the, um, <coughs> And the pumpkin or the squash so I'm gonna throw two of my sofritos in there okay so while it's cooking it gets and I'm gonna throw the potatoes in there and I'm gonna throw the squash in there as well okay so we're gonna let that boil in there um, okay until the potatoes and <clears throat> the potatoes and the squash is done. Probably gonna add a little bit of more water and I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna put these in there too so you know it gets flavor. So I'm gonna cover that up and I'll be back guys. Okay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put <clears throat> some garlic in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Garlic, some 
some onion powder. Okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit of adobo because like I said, the pork rinds I'm gonna put in there and the, and the ham has salt. So we don't want this to come out salty. We want it balanced, so. I'm gonna move it around a little bit, not too much because I don't want my plantain balls to break. Okay. And then I'm gonna add, I have to taste it guys, you know that, right? <laughs> you know that without me tasting this, is it's not going nowhere, so. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh no, it needs flavor, it needs more flavor. <coughs> definitely, definitely needs more adobo. <coughs> yeah, I just put a little bit, so. Well, I have to put more water in here because I still have a, a whole bunch of other stuff to put in there. And we don't want it dry, we want a nice, half a cup of water in there. <coughs> yeah. And we're gonna let it cook now. Let me let me test it. Let me because I don't know. The flavor's good. Once I throw everything else in there then I'll see. So I'll be back guys, okay? We gotta let the potatoes and the squash cook in there. Okay guys so it's boiling the, everything is cooking. Now I'm gonna throw the rest of the shredded plantain in there, and this gonna is gonna make it get thick. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw um, pieces of it like that, and uh, great cream. And um, yeah, so it's gonna it's gonna get thicker. Okay, I'm just gonna move it around. So it cooks. Okay. Just throw it in there and move it around so it doesn't, you know, clump up and it's sh like shredded in there. I'm gonna have to put some more water in there. It's like really thick. That's okay. Okay, let me. everything and I'm going to throw some water, okay? I'm going to throw some water in there. Sorry for the shaking, guys. So that's the way it looks. I'm going to throw some more water. It's hard to film and, and cook at the same time. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's what I want in there now. I'm going to put a little bit more. Little bit. I'm just gonna pull the whole thing in there. Then I have to taste it, guys, because as you pull things in there, you know, you have to taste it because. Okay. So we're gonna see. It tastes good, but now I'm gonna put the crackling in there too. I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of crackling, guys. And I have to be careful because this has salt in it and we can't, we don't wanna lose, you know, we don't want it to be salty. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay, and I'm also gonna put a little bit more of water, okay? Just a little bit more. All right. I have to taste it then. Yeah. I needed a little bit of more water. 
and then the pork rinds have a little bit of heat in it so it's going to give it a little bit of heat as well and I will be back okay okay now I'm going to throw one or two teaspoons of um, tomato sauce okay just a little bit not too much I'm, I think I'm just going to pour the rest of this in there and that is it this will take about another let me see the potatoes are done the potatoes are done cooking everything is done cooking already guys because this is something that cooks quick I think the let me see the uh, the squash needs a little bit more about another 10 minutes okay I'll be back to plate okay Okay guys, so this is done and I'm gonna plate. Okay. Um, get a little bit of everything in there, guys. Because this is good. Oh, this is so yummy. Get some of the pork rinds in there. You know. And your mouth is gonna have a party. Yep, your mouth is gonna have a party when you eat this. <laughs> Okay, guys, and so you can take one or two pork rinds, throw them right on top of there, and boom, that is done. Okay, thank you for uh, stopping by, uh, Cooking with Carmen, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.